just rolling another coil. I'm rolling it into a carrot, but it could also be something that is rolled more like a lug. And these are handles that I devised when I was, uh, when I had gotten myself back on the wheel after many years of not throwing. I hadn't really, didn't really get, get down the pulling off of the pot. So I wanted to try to make handles that mimicked those pots, that, those handles that were pulled so that they would look good on my thrown pot. So that's how these came to be. Now I do pull handles from the pots, but anybody who does that knows that takes lots of practice. So you can use it as a lug, you could use it as a taper, and you just roll a hand, a roll of coil, and then you kind of flatten it like that. And you take a dowel, this is a chopstick, actually, and it can be a dowel, anything that's round and kind of narrow for this size. And I'm visually finding the center of the pot, and I'm just taking this tool and rolling it in the center of the pot, like that. And then I'm going to take the tool and come up to the point that I just ended at and roll out from there. Other side and roll out from there. And go back in here again so that you have this, I always like those handles that have those ridges down the center. You have this, the ridges in place. And then I'll take a sponge. I, I've nicknamed this wet pulling, or flat pulling. And I just go with my sponge and the reason why I use the sponge is because clay, uh, throwing is a very different speed. And so if I wanted to have handles that look nice with thrown pots, I wanted to have them look like they were wet. And I'm just continuing to pull this until I get these nice, nice soft edges like that. And now I'll take my knife. By the same token, if you have a lug, this works well for the side handles. And again, any tool that's round, I'm putting a little dent in it, and then doing one side and doing the other side. So it's here, and then here, and here, and then flat, drawing that sponge through it. Now that one rounded off very nicely, so you can see how this on the side of something could work really well as a lug. This one, I'm going to trim because I want this edge to be a little more uniform. You can leave it like this if you like, but I'm going to just take this and trim it. And generally, I dip it in a little bit in the center. It's just a personal preference. So it's just trimmed a bit, and then I'll use the sponge again to soften that edge. I'll lift it, and I'll use the sponge to soften this edge, and I'm going very lightly so I don't mess up what I did on the other side. And you can always soften that a little bit more once it's straight. Check it again. And then you can trim, you can trim your top, trim your bottom. And then that makes a nice handle. And again, you know, you can ma manipulate this however you like in whatever shape, whether it's something like that, it can be more like that can come in and do that. 